Hello Capricorn, my North Node family. Welcome to Mystic Marie Tarot and Goddess. This is a bonus video because you guys definitely deserve it. You were my first viral video for me. Most views that I have on my account was about 6,000, almost 7,000 views. Also, you guys were very close this week for the whole day of Friday, which is the last day. It was at both 1.2 for you and Taurus, my sun sign. So I'm very grateful for you all support as well. So this week I'm giving you guys a bonus video. So thank you for everything that you do. For Capricorn spirit, in whichever way that you support me, I truly appreciate it. What does Capricorn need to know? Messages from that person. Any placement. All y'all cards trying to jump out. I feel empty without you and I check on you from afar. So if you have multiple scenarios, be mindful, past, present, future. If you have open uh, public social media accounts, this person is watching you. Or they could definitely be a part of your friends list. You need to do a friend review, review because they could be under a fake account. For Capricorn spirit. What does Capricorn need to know? I'm definitely keeping tabs on you. I find you incredibly attractive. Damn. Card peeking out is I love you. I'll put it back and wait for, to see what jumps out. If this person never told you they love you, they do. For some of you, you know. They're not ready, though. They can't give you what you want. So they could be tied up with someone else. Okay? Or you could be waiting on them to make a uh, decision. Family or friends disapprove of this connection. Whether they're married or you're spiritual, they're not. Okay, could be religious uh, issues here or concerns. Uh, this is their friends telling them not to come towards you. Whatever the situation is, it's interference or it's someone intervening for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? I want to work things out. So for some of you, they want you to wait on them if they're not in your life right now. I feel like I'm not good enough. And for some of you, y'all are bumping heads. Y'all just reconnected. But uh, they actually want to fix the connection with you. Well, I want to work things out. Finances are a problem. For some of you, this is my it's cheaper to keep her car or him. Uh, he could be su supporting this person for the men watching, supporting your person financially. Therefore, she won't leave. Okay, and vice versa. There's a man here feels that once he leaves, his stability will be an issue, leaving this person. You are the person of my dreams. This person could be telepathically communicating with you through the dream state, 5D communication. You could be dreaming of them or they are dreaming of you, or this is literal, like, you're the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. But what I feel like I'm not good enough for you, I wish I could take it back at the bottom of the day, too. Uh, this is inadequacy. So they feel empty without you, but they don't feel good enough for you. It's giving. Get your shit together for Capricorn spirit. Let's get some tea. Yeah, I need a nap. I've been up all morning, so forgive me if I seem a bit drained. My usual energy. Let's see. Cards picking out is hamster wheel. Finances are a problem, but let me go ahead and cut. For some of y'all, yeah, this is this is a major factor. Bottom of the deck waves, emotions coming and going. A House is Not a Home by Luther Vandross on the TV. Somebody you can kiss goodnight. That's crazy. For Capricorn. What's Capricorn is in about that person? Desire, love, sexual chemistry. This is y'all's connection. Maybe this is what they gave you. What else? Poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors in, pe in people. If this is a sexually based connection, some of y'all are done with toxicity. You're tired of it being only lust. They could be having sex with low vibrational people too. So if they're having sex with low vibrational people and you, you need to cleanse your energy. Sea salt bath. What else for Capricorn? Commitment, long-term relationship. They could be in a commitment with somebody toxic, karmic energy. There's this surviving daily hustle card. It then came out in reverse. They're having issues financially. They're trying to avoid that. They don't want to be surviving or uh, having to find a daily hustle, DoorDash, Instacart, uh, Postmates, or Uber Eats. Like They, they just want to make sure that they're solid. They don't want any uh, daily hustles. That's crazy. This is why they in this energy, acting funny. For some of you, this person threatened to come for their pockets. If they left you or if they left them, 
Okay, this could be you as well. Drastic, extreme, harsh, cut off. They could have cut you off due to this person's threats too for Capricorn. Single, current status available. Whether they was fake single or they was acting single. For some of you, they're actually becoming single. What else for Capricorn, Spirit? Or this could be you. Living your best life, exploring your options. That's what I'm getting for somebody right here. Obsession. Listen, I don't know who this is. Somebody, this is Capricorn energy I'm picking up on. The devil, toxicity. With this toxicity here, unhealthy behaviors and people, someone has a lot of sexual energy lots of passion lots of lust just just a mess this is all they offer multiple scenarios different situations for different folks okay but this person that i'm picking up on is very lustful must have and indulge they are obsessed with you sexually what else anxiety scared panic for some of you to lose you for good for the truth to come out or to express themselves okay vacation hideaway adventure some of you they worried about you exploring your options taking vacations taking trips you living your best life without them but some of you this person's getting ready to go on vacation they're afraid about what you will find out because they could be going with somebody else okay and if they're not going with nobody else it's a whole family shebang bang vacation hideaway adventure for some of you they feel like you're hiding you're not giving anything anymore you're not open to them anymore you're not expressing you're not posting they just wear it because I said all of that because this person has on a VR headset, which could be online. And there she is. Every can read it. Drama queen, thirsty, causing chaos. That's my queen of swords. Coming right behind her. She where she needs to be from their past. Yep. This is the reason this person has been holding back. This chick right here. Hidden fact that at the bottom of the deck. What else for Capricorn experience? retaliation punish payback revenge fell over toxicity period she mad somebody's ex somebody's almost ex somebody's spouse somebody bitter betty wife with the dried up crusty ass rollers is mad in the way baby mama for some of you and for the men i feel like you got an ex that won't let you go a baby mama that won't let you go who got time what else for capricorn triggers name car place in reverse someone's trying to uh stop from being triggered for some of you cut this person off they get triggered too easily or you trying to walk on eggshells not trigger this person they need to deal with their trauma triggers come from trauma trauma comes from the past ascension spiritual path and awakening receipt somebody need validation for something okay this person could be praying hoping praying wishing for validation for this person to stay with them you could be needing validation you need receipts you found receipts somebody's found something out okay it's a whole lot of bullshit going on let me scoot these cards down so I can get some tarot. I need a nap. I see this energy, though. Same shit. Stupid-ass bitch in the background. Forgive, forgive my French. Or not, because I'm a realist. Who got time to be playing with this chick, man? Every reading, it's frustrating. She really done woke me up for real. <sighs> for Capricorn spirit, let's keep your girl together. What's going on? Four of Cups, rejection, afraid of rejection, refuse your offer, bored, discontent where they are. For Capricorn, what's Capricorn need to know? The Wheel of Fortune, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Hmm. Tables are about to turn. It's about to be a grand shift for this bitch. Oh, y'all. Connection. This is fate. This is destiny. Your destiny is intertwined with this person. It's meant to be. It's, it's, it's karma. She's getting that too. What else? Well, whoever behaving toxic, retaliation, and toxicity, they getting their karma. Let me put that over there in the corner. You getting, you getting that. Okay, what else? Especially if you're doing spell work. Here are this emperor. The divine masculine, Aries energy. Twin flame, soulmate, father, leader, boss, whatever. For a lot of y'all, this emperor, we got baby, I promise. Mm -hmm. This person is in this connection with this toxic bitch. That shit is coming full circle. 
For some of y'all, they chose to focus on family. What else? Seven of Swords. This Emperor is sneaking around, possibly at night, but don't have to be. Queen of Pentacles against their wife or against their spouse, baby mama, whatever. They sneaking around. Or oh, this is you, men. What else? Earth sign energy. Aquarius energy double with the star and the will of fortune. I promise. This person could be strategically planning to come towards you to heal something with you. You're their wish. What else? Mm-hmm. Don't let no one change your mind. What else for uh, Capricorn? They could definitely be head in the clouds, seven of cups. Seven of swords, seven of cups. They're painting illusions. They're sneaking around. They're being very deceptive. They could have uh, misguided you, led you on. King of Wands, ace of cups. You'll see that I'm all that you need. Nothing is promised between me and you. Interesting. I will never leave. Everything's going to be all right. For some of y'all, y'all bond is unbreakable. They feel like they'll be back when they get their shit together. That's the star card. They could have treated you as an option, seven of cups. They were out here living their best life. King of Wands with the uh, single. I heard exploring their options, seven of cups, ace of cups, looking for love in all the wrong places. Uh, they could have somebody else. They could have chose over you, King of Wands, to give their heart to, ace of cups. Now they're feeling defeated. That was a brutal ending. You got to get close to somebody to stab them. Ten of swords. So they got betrayed by somebody. Close to them. Or they betrayed you. And y'all were very close. Or they feel like they did. They feel bad. They feel empty without you. I promise. What else, spirit? For Capricorn. Knight of Cups. Interesting. Haste of Swords. They coming forward, though. Eventually. Past, present, future. For some of you men, you getting ready to take action against a woman you really, really love and you miss. We see you. I see you. Only one I want in my life. Strength card, Leo energy. They're going to have to take action. Because I just read the strength card in um, Taurus reading. It kept coming out. Speaking of finding the confidence, doing what it takes to step forward, taking action with no one standing in your way. Resilience. I'm like, let me read this card since it keep coming out. Here it is in y'all reading. So some of y'all can have a Taurus placement or they do. What's the will of fortune? Sun card, Leo energy. Now listen. This person's being optimistic or they will suddenly be enlightened about what they want and what makes them happy. Mm -hmm. For some of y'all, somebody got pregnant, you could be pregnant. Multiple scenarios. Which changed the fate or the... Uh, direction of this connection especially with this emperor following what i'm picking up on somebody being pregnant they could have chose to focus on a family situation to revitalize it this this is giving realizing what makes me happy will of fortune sun card what's this emperor the world card. Something is over. The world and the will. This emperor is coming full circle. One more for the world. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius again. What's the world and the emperor? Ten of swords again. 
It was at the bottom of this deck. Ten of Pentacles. A family situation could be ending. Indies for new beginnings with the Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Three of Cups could definitely be a third party or a reconciliation for those that are in separation or both. It was a third party. It ended. Now they're ready to reconcile. It could have ended because you are no longer a part of it. Doesn't stop this. For some of y'all, it doesn't stop this person from having multiple suitors. Seven of Cups, King of Wands. They like having options for some of you. This is their thing. Once a cheater, always a cheater. What's seven of swords? I feel like for a lot of you, though, they're realizing what love really is. The moon. It's the weekend, y'all. These kids. Uh, The moon with the seven of swords, they definitely are being very secretive and sneaky. Foxy, even. They're definitely moving around secretively while they have something else going on. Pisces energy. These are a lot of secrets with the moon and the seven of swords. Done in the dark. We'll come into the light. Star card, sun card. The sun and the moon. This is definitely twin flame energy. I pick up on the sun and the moon and you're reading often, Capricorn. This is twin flame energy. I don't care what nobody say. Yin and yang. You and this person will end up together for a lot of you. I mean, that's crazy because it's so toxic right now. But that's part of healing. What's the uh, star card? I just said, what's the tower? So something getting ready to end. What is a star card? Which is a Scorpio energy. It slipped out of my mouth. Could be relevant for somebody. Star card. The Empress. And the Emperor. She flew over there where he is. Like I said, this is definitely twin flame. I'm not playing, y'all. I don't know who reading this is. We got the star, the sun, and the moon. This is major. You and this person, I believe this was the first viral video I got. I had the sun and the moon and the emperor and the empress. You and this person will end up together. It's destiny. It's fate. The will of fortune. That's crazy. But they want to heal something with the empress. Wow. Y'all learning though right now. Or you're very healing to this person. Empress star card. Wow. Somebody could be pregnant. The Empress is pregnant on this card. Very creative. Birthing. Vibrant. Abundant. Nurturing. Giving. Oh, Lord. That's heavy energy. Royal. Okay. Definitely major big shit here. Star card. Sun and the moon. Empress. Empress. Emperor Empress. What's the Seven of Cups? The King of Swords. Yeah. This motherfucker is very aloof, cold, and cut off from their emotions because they're trying to figure out what they want. Ain't nobody got time. What's this King of Wands? They're on the brink of a breakup with somebody else, too. King of Swords. King of Wands. I feel like they ain't got no emotions where they are. King of Swords. But they got a whole lot of emotion, passion, lots of sex for you. King of Wands. It's dried up over there, but it's real passionate with you. Or this is you for the man watching. You're dealing with somebody who you don't really fuck with, but you got passion for somebody else and obsession, to be honest. What's this King of Wands? Tower. Didn't I say this tower? I felt this tower. Tower. This King of Wands is realizing that he's being weighed down by his own doing he's his own jailer he's his own worst enemy ten of wands tower something is getting ready to end scorpio energy this king of wands is getting passionate about some shit he getting ready to take action out of nowhere what's this ace of cups the tower is sudden drastic movement he's feeling way down responsibilities whatever foundation he built ten of wands tower is stressing him the fuck out he ready for something new he ready to explore king of wands what's this ace of cups the hangman. This is deep. Pisces energy. This person has went within to realize what truly makes them happy. Or they will f be forced to. Seven of swords. Again, being sneaky. Seven of swords, two different decks. What's this ace of cups hangman? They're surrendering to love. Oof. Deep. They're making sacrifices for love. Or they will. What's this Ace of Cups? Baby face soon as I get home. Eight of Wands. Yep. 
progress and expansion. Two of Cups is what they want. This is beautiful. Wow. I want to work things out, but I'm not ready. They're going to be ready. Eight of Wands, Hangman, Ace of Cups. They're going to realize what love really is. What's in this night? What's in this cup for this night? Two of Wands. They're taking action. They're planning to come towards you. What's in the cup? Man with the plan. What's the, what's, mm, that's the King of Wands. What's in this cup? The High Priestess. They're following the intuition. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Now, this Queen of Cups could be you. Could be somebody's child's mother. Could be very loving, psychic, clairvoyant, nurturing. High Priestess could definitely be very intuitive. This person is very intuitive. They're following their intuition and they're telepathically communicating with you with the Knight of Cups and the High Priestess. Dream state, songs. One more for this Knight of Cups, two of Wands, High Priestess. Ace of Swords. Okay, I've already said it. And here we go twice. Two Ace of Swords. This person is coming towards y'all with a solid offer. Once they get the breakthrough, once they have this major epiphany, once they realize what love truly is. But I said, with all of this Emperor, Empress, uh, Sun and the Moon, Ace of Cups, Hangman, they're surrendering and making sacrifices for love. They know what it is. They know that they have to do this if they want to be happy. Tarot is fluid. Past, present, future. I'm picking up on future energy. Someone's going to get their shit together. Will it be too late? Peace.